All right, everybody, this is Ross. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my asparagus patch. Here against the fence on the north side of our south facing fence. This is south, you guys are north. Um, so it doesn't really get a whole lot of light here. I have about six plants. And what I've done is I've actually spaced them, I think two and a half, maybe two feet apart. And I have some eye hooks here with some wire attached to the fence. So when these asparagus plants grow, they're not kind of falling over and taking up a lot of space into this parking lot here. It's making it look a bit more tidy because some of our clients actually come in here and park right where we're standing and actually can see the asparagus during the season. Now, you would never know that there is asparagus here unless you saw the spears that are coming up, which is what's happening right now. Today's April 12th. Really around the 15th of April is when we start to see the asparagus popping their heads up. Um, and I should have a pretty decent harvest this year. That's kind of the issue is that these plants are young and um, you know, at a certain point you can start harvesting them, but you don't want to harvest too much. You know, you can tell that this is an older plant because of the thickness of the spear. Um, you can tell by definitely the base of the plants. So I'm going to be kind of careful and choosy and determine, you know, all right, well that plant can handle a harvest. This plant probably can't. How much do I want to harvest? That's really up to you guys. But um, yeah, I think this whole thing kind of works well and it's getting to that age now where we just kind of tuck the plants in after they, let's say I didn't want to harvest, you have to leave a certain amount of these spears to turn into the actual plant because they will actually, from the top here, kind of leaf out kind of like a tree that's coming out of dormancy and start bushing out into a giant fern. And if you don't have enough of that mass, that leaf mass here on top, you're not gonna get enough photosynthesis so that the following season when they start sending up their spears once again, they have enough energy. So it's a kind of a balancing act. It's really up to you guys as the, the grower to determine how much to harvest, how long to harvest. We're gonna find out just how far I can push these plants. now. I want to taste this for you guys because I think that's where the money is, right? Um, do I want to grow it? I don't know, but if it's good, I'm definitely going to want to grow it. So this is the top part here as we do normally in the kitchen. We break the, the uh, really fibrous part off. We can pull it out of the ground and get the, the entire thing here and then break off the top to get the edible part. Now, in my experience, I haven't needed to cook this. I find it to be so good and so tender the way it is and so flavorful that you don't have to cook it. Yeah, it's gonna taste better if you add some butter, put it in the pan, fry it up a bit. But uh, I'm telling you, this is so good just the way it is. So let me take a bite. Oh yeah. And it's not too intense either. Like Some asparagus has such an intense asparagus flavor that it's a bit overwhelming a lot of people don't like it this is so good and it's not too intense it's quite mild but it still has that asparagus flavor it's really good it's a no-brainer guys there's a little bit more of that flavor as you go down but yeah so i would suggest you guys do this similarly at home you know kind of box it in Keep it upright because it's not going to stay up by itself. It's going to kind of make a mess. That's where this wire comes in. Again, when they grow up, I just put the wire over top of them and that keeps them against the fence nice and neat. They get the photosynthesis that they need, even in this low light condition. And uh, yeah, I think these have been in the ground now, guys. So I know someone's going to ask. I think this is their third or second season here. Actually, I think it's their third season here but I had been growing them in a pot for a couple years prior. So it does take a while. Usually by the third or fourth year, you guys can get something significant. And that's what I'm hoping for myself. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up here of what these spears are looking like, what the base of these plants look like. And then we're gonna call it a day here. If you guys found this interesting, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. There's a spear right there coming up. This one actually put out two spears for me so far. Here we have another spear that's just really wimpy. And you can tell this plant is much younger. I don't want to harvest from that. We'll let this one 
leaf out, as I said, they leaf out from these points up here and it forms that fern. Here we have a decently thick one coming up out of the ground here. And we go down the line and see some over here. So they're just really just starting guys. Um, but again, this is the beginning of the harvest season. Here's another one. So yeah, I'm excited. And I think you guys should be too, because this stuff is actually quite good. And again, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and Fig Boss. Subscribe. We'll see you guys for tomorrow's video, all right? Take care, guys.